as you can see here, we've gone ahead and created our banner, our menu, our body, and our footer. Now, what we want to do is to go ahead and put an image up here in the banner area and also in the footer and also put kind of a splash image in the body area. We've got a couple choices in how we can do that. One, we can go ahead and use the insert image tag here and it'll insert the image down here as you see in the banner area. If we do that and we decide to change that image, any subsequent web page we create will have to go back and individually change those pages for what that banner is going to be for the web page and the website. So a better way to do this is to use a cascading style sheet. So in how we do that, there are a couple of methods in how we can add an image to our style sheet, which will be referenced here in the banner as well as in the menu and also in the footer. We put those images respectively in there. One is we can come up here where it says banner over here on CSS styles and we can double click on that and it'll open up the CSS rule definition for banner. That's one method. Another method is we can come down here once we select banner and go down to the properties for banner and do an add uh, background image. That's one way of doing it. Okay, just to make it consistent though, we'll go ahead and double click on this here and we'll come up towards this background and we'll go browse for a background image. And we've already got our images folder up here and we'll go look for the website banner that we want to use for this site. So it looks like that's the one I want to use, this one here. So I'll click OK and I'll click OK here and you can see it's added that in there. Now what's important now is to go ahead and take out this text where it says content ID for banner because we don't need that anymore. Now let's go back and look at the style sheet and see if it's actually added that background image and yes it did. There you can see it right there. It's in our images uh, website banner as you can see right there. So now as I change my website all I have to do is go to my style sheet, change out that background image and it will change every other image in the web page. It will change all the images in the web page for that one rule right there in the banner. Okay, we'll stop for now and we'll come back and add the others here momentarily. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add that footer image to the web page now. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the content for ID colon, uh, excuse me, quote footer end quote goes here. Just delete that, get that out of the way. And then now I'll come up here and double click on the footer uh, CSS that we've created, the CSS rule. We'll go over here to background, we'll browse for the footer image which is this one right here uh, I'll go ahead and hit OK and I'll hit OK on this and again you can see the footer image has been added now what we're going to do now is we're going to come back and start working in the menu system before we actually add the body image in so we'll stop here for now <laughs>